to show you guys a little trick that I use for sizing to help me size my things accurately and also if I'm doing something that has an odd shape or that I need a specific um, size for. So I took a picture of a onesie with my ruler, my Cricut cutting ruler across it and this is going to help me get a correct size on design space. Now I like to do this especially if I'm doing like a stuffed animal that has a weird shape uh, like a, the monkeys on the belly with the birth stats. Um, this comes in handy so that I can size it correctly in design space but I had a onesie I was doing recently and I needed it to be exact sizing so um, I'm going to show you today the little trick that I use I zoomed out to show you guys but I'm going to zoom in now and you can see I can clearly see the markings here so what I'm going to do is go over to my shapes click shapes and I'm going to grab a square and I'm going to resize it to one inch and then I'm going to put that right along my ruler here and I'm going to click on my picture and I'm going to size it up until this one inch mark, this one inch square here, matches one inch on my ruler. Now you can go ahead and you can put it at, you know, the three inch mark, wherever you want it, as long as you're doing it correctly. I'm going to move it over a little so it's easier for you guys to see. And um, I'm going to zoom out again just um, since it's getting bigger. So we're just going to keep kind of playing around and moving it, but this is great to help you. You can also use this up if you're using a mock-up. It gives you a more accurate representation of what your design is going to look like, but you may want to take two photos, one with the ruler and one without, and then you know measure the one with the ruler and change the dimensions on the one that doesn't have the ruler. Okay, so I have to go a little bit bigger. And once I did that, I was able to, I don't even think I have my design, created it in design space. But um, I did relax my mom as a nurse and I needed to make sure that the stethoscope wasn't too long. I wanted it to be exact. So I took this, that's why, even though this doesn't have a weird shape to it, that's why I did this. So you can see now I have a good measure on it. And um, let me see here. I can go ahead and click images, stethoscope. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I just picked one that I liked that I had in design space. I don't even remember which one I selected, but I wanted it to come all the way down. So I, um, I may have used this one here and taken it apart. I think that's what I did. So I did this and I'm not gonna go through the whole thing with you guys, but I had, I'll ungroup it take out this and um, um, I'm just going to get rid of all these extra pieces here. Alright, so then what I did is just put this on here and I sized it to measure so you can see it's about seven inches tall 4.3 inches wide I forget what size onesie this is but that's about what I would do for a onesie you don't want to get it too long this also helps you see um, if you're doing a onesie specifically uh, when you put the pants on the baby you can make sure that this isn't going to your design won't be covered by the pants being put on so there's um just a few ways you can use it but this is my this is my go-to when I need exact specific sizing on something, especially if it has an odd shape to it.